Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I have a review for you, and it is on the Melody Susie drill that I got off of Amazon. Um, for those of you that have seen some of my other reviews, hold on. I reviewed this one not that long ago. I love this drill, but Hippie Hilda here drops stuff like mad. And I have dropped this so much that it doesn't work appropriately. Not the fault of the company, 100% me all day, every day, I'm that girl. I can't, it's got this little clip thing here, I clipped it on my side and I hit it with my chair, it goes falling on the floor, it gets stuck in the on, like, ooh, it turned on this time. Okay, it hasn't been turning on and off for me, so I thought, you know what, let me find another tabletop one that if I have to Velcro that puppy down to my desk, we're going to see what happens here. So, today's review will be on the Melody Susie drill. Um, let's get started. All right, let me see if I get this thing in focus here. Back it up a little bit. Uh, okay, so this is the box that it comes in. Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill. Melody Susie, the last time I previewed a Melody Susie, it was the light, the packaging was perfectly fine. They don't have a problem in that area. Nicely neat package. Extra sanding bands, manual, 20% off coupon. See these right here, these ceramic ones? Mm, those are my favorite. I like those the bestest. Not big on the tungsten carbides, but I do like those ones. Right there, see? Right there. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. That's probably the hand piece. Let's just take all this out first. There's a foot pedal. Plug. This is your standard bit kit that comes with every flipping drill bit or drill that you get off of Amazon. Every single one of them looks like this. And if you've heard me before, you know that I hate them. So, here's the Melody Susie. It has all the numbers from 3,000 RPM to 30,000 RPM. It says professional, little on off button. It's got the little grippers on the bottom here so we don't, ooh, hey, it's not gonna slide. Maybe Hippie Hilda won't knock this over. On the back, foot pedal. It says motor, forward and in reverse. Those of you that don't know, forward is if you are right-handed, reverse is if you are left-handed. Um, depending on which way that you are traveling across the nail, you need that. And there's the plug. So let's open this up. I do have a client coming in at some point in time here. And I will be using this on her. Um, she is my very good friend. And her nails, I have heard, are a hot mess. I heard the dog sat on her hand and broke her claw nails that are all hooked and wrong structured and everything else. And, okay, so you just pop in the plug right like so. I'm probably not going to use the foot pedal. Um, I haven't used a foot pedal in a long time. Maybe. You never know. You know what? I take that back. I, pro I think I will because I remembered how much I liked a foot pedal. I really enjoyed a foot pedal. I don't know why I quit using one. Probably because whatever I had didn't come with one. So, 
where it says motor and put see there you go oh if we're gonna review it let's just hook up the whole thing so hippie Hilda can have her foot pedal here and twist these little boogers hmm alrighty super lightweight Okay, I'm already in forward because I am a right-handed person. I just want to check and, and see that this works. Oh, yeah, plug it in, Nicole. That'd be smart, huh? I swear sometimes. I tell you, my coffee hasn't cooked it cook, kicked in, but it is like the middle of the day. Hmm... Got it. All right. See, little light comes on. Okay. I can already. So it doesn't click. It just rotates. It's pretty quiet. You don't really need it that high. But when it does get up high, then I feel I feel a little bit of a airflow coming out where's that airflow coming from uh, these little slots right here probably to keep it cool it's got these little holes at the top here can you see those all those little holes right there are for things like these for things like these you just Place them in there, and that way you have a neat little storage container for them. I keep mine in a closed container just for sanitation purposes. Um, I don't think that I would, I don't know that I would use that. I might, I might not. Okay, so let's see how the pedal does. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. And I'm only, I'm going to put it at about 1250. But, hmm. Okay, so if I press down on the foot pedal, mm -hmm. it stops it. And then I come up. Controls that. Hmm. Nope. It's it's kind of like a reverse of a gas pedal. Like, yeah, it's almost like the brake pedal instead. You hit the brake to slow it down. Maybe I just did it wrong. Nope. Yeah, that's how that goes. Huh. All right, well, I'll give it a whirl. I'll see how this does here. And after I get done, I will come back and I will let you know my thoughts on it. It is cute, it's little, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. On the desk. I better not be hitting nothing down there. Let me see. Oh yeah, no, see it doesn't even hit. Doesn't even doesn't even hit down there. So we're good there. But that'll keep Hippie Hilda from knocking it over. Alright, we're gonna give it a whirl.
Okay, I have just completed um, working on my friend. It came out wonderful, but I did use the Melody Susie um, electric file for the entire service. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is one of the main things that I really love about certain e-files is the twist lock. And if it does not have the twist lock, do you hear click? That click lets it know that it's secure and in place. I will not use an electric file without that if I have any other options. I cannot stand it. So I, I love the twist lock and this does have the twist lock. Um, this was really nice. This was a really nice feature. It got a very low RPM and I really felt like I had more control than some of the other files that I've come across. Um, I did not happen to like the foot pedal. I really couldn't get a hang of that, so I ain't using it. Um, done. Like I said, I love that it has these little uh, anchors on the bottom. It really helps me from knocking things over. I am terrible when it comes to knocking things over. Um, it's very common for me to do, so it just it is what it is. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the desk. Um, I asked my friend if she could tell a difference between the other files that I've used. And she said that she didn't feel as much vibration. And that was what I was looking to see because I also felt that it was not um, as difficult, if that makes sense, to file. I felt that I was able to use a significant amount of less pressure when applying it um, or when using it. As I floated across the nail, I literally felt like I was floating and it took the tension off of this hand. I didn't feel like I had to grip it very hard and I could just float right over the nail. Um, it was really nice. It was very smooth. It was very quiet. So all of those I think are positives. Um, I believe I got it on sale. I will put the price up in the, in the video here. I believe I paid around $50 for it. I think it was on sale. Um, definitely worth it for me. I, I do like it. Um, I will use it until it probably dies on me. Um, for those of you that may not know, things that can cause your electric files to go bad, um, of course, Hippie Hilda drops them. So, you know, there's that. That always just screws them up. But the other thing is, if you're working in a lot of dust, um, the dust gets into the electric file itself and it will cause it to malfunction and um, I've, I've had that happen and it's just one of those things. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, this did have um, some ventilation slots within the handpiece. The handpiece the hand stayed cool the entire time. So another positive. So as of right now, I don't have a negative on this. So it definitely works for me in a salon. It's going to pay my bills. It's going to make me money. And that's what it's about. You know, we're here to make a living and raise our family. And that will definitely do that. So if you're in need of something small, um, not very expensive, I would definitely recommend the Melody Susie electric file. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to like, hit the subscribe button. Um, we've got some good things in store coming up and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.